Mr. Brevier, what do you like the most about working at Salem Public Schools? Uh, well, really, there's two things. Uh, the first is the students. You know, I love my daily interaction with uh, with the students. Um, just uh, you know, to kind of hear how things are going for you know the students that come in my office, as well as the students that I inter interact with out in uh, the hallways. Um, you know, those that are struggling, I like um, just the opportunity to help them. My life experience um, hopefully comes into uh, comes into play where I can you know just kind of relate back to to that and, and just you know let the kids know that I've been there and I understand. Um, and then the second thing, it's 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 probably about you know equally weighted, and that's the the people I work with. You know, I work with some really good people closely. I work uh, with Mr. Eating, Mr. Howarda, Mr. Spayman, um, and then and then the rest of the teaching staff. You know, I feel like we have a really really close, um, um, tight knit group of very very qualified people working at Zeeland West, all of Zeeland, you know, Zeeland High School, over at East as well, but I work mainly with the folks here at West. So the students first, uh, the staff second. I just really enjoy. Describe an educator. Um, that's a, a interesting question. Um, an educator to me um, is somebody that understands the difference between teaching and learning. Because um, you can say you're an educator, but if the students that you're teaching aren't learning what you're teaching, I, uh, I'm not, I wouldn't say you're not an educator, but maybe you're missing a piece. So to me, an educator is somebody that, that, that understands, yes, teaching, you gotta teach. But at the end of the day, if they're not learning, then there's a disconnect. And so some, an educator is somebody that can find out maybe where that disconnect is, and so get from the teaching to the act actually learning part. I just know from my own experience, um, there are times that I sat in classes with people that probably weren't the most educated people in the world, but man, were they able to, um, I was able to learn from them. And then I sat in classrooms with people that were smarter than most people on the planet, but it was just words and I didn't understand and there was a disconnect. It was teaching, but there wasn't any learning. So to me, an educator is somebody that can get you from the teaching part to the learning part. Jay, what's your favorite thing about being a high schooler at Zealand West High School? What is my favorite thing about being a high schooler at Zealand High School? You know what, I think, um, uh, I think uh, a lot of the teachers and a lot of the um, uh, people around here really preach the, the community aspect of also that, that be nice movement, but also the fact that um, it, we really aren't that big around here, so it's a little, it's, it's more of a tight-knit group, you know. Most people know each other, everybody gets along. Uh, a lot of the kids who go to East and West have gone, have come up from those uh, Zealand Middle Schools or elementary schools like Quincy and all those where I, I did not. So I came in here unexpectedly with just a couple of people that I went to middle school with, but uh, I think it was pretty easy just to you know, get, find new people, get some new friends, just build that relationship for the, for the small time that I'll be. In your eyes. Describe an educator. I think an educator, in my life, I think, especially here in Zealand, maybe, I could probably be based around uh, anywhere also, but I think an educator is definitely someone who, uh, who has ha taken what they've learned and taken what they've experienced to also give it a sense to um, uh, find a new meaning and then also preach that up to other people, more specifically, I guess, in the school. You know, the teachers are the ones who, who, who lead us, who we kind of look towards for help and um, the ones that we trust. Uh, for our education, the uh, everyday life we come to school here, but on a more broader scale, I think uh, it's definitely someone who takes what they've known and uh, try to enhance others' learning or enhance others' uh, other their other just way of uh, pretty much anything. I think just helping them get a better understanding of whatever they're trying to do. Jay, would you ever consider being a teacher? Would I consider ever being a teacher? You know what? Um, I think for me. I don't think being a teacher is probably the, the path that I will go on, but I definitely think um, on a more kind of a, a lighter scale to that, I definitely think um, if there ever is a chance for me to help um, other people learn or just give my input um, and kind of direct some people in something that I am interested in or that I am good at and someone is needing help, I'm, I, I definitely um, will allow myself to kind of be a, a teacher in that sense. But, Definitely on a, on a general scale, like teacher, you know, you've got your regular core class teachers like that. I definitely don't see myself being probably one of those um, 
for myself, but I mean, I, I definitely um, am thankful for all the teachers that I've had in my life and all the people who will become teachers just because they are really impacting the world and uh, they're your school community themselves, you know?